Alright guys, so I'm going to show you this pseudo aneurysm that I found. At first it was really hard to see in the left groin area because of all the swelling and the bruising. However, after I did all my scans with the linear probe, I changed it to a curved probe. So you can see here that I saw the hematoma that this patient had in their left groin. And I decided to change it to the curved probe to get a better picture of it. And in order to see the pseudoaneurysm, I had to find where the common femoral artery was so that I can see if there was anything connecting to it. So after I took all my pictures of this, of the hematoma, I finally found the common femoral artery, which is right over here. And this is a common femoral vein. And you can see from the common femoral artery that there is this long, sort of neck type of looking stalk here that comes off of the CFA and it goes into the pseudo aneurysm that's right here. And this has the classic yin yang sign where it's red and blue because it's swirling to and fro. And I finally saw it and I was like, whoa, there it is. And I just took a whole bunch of pictures to prove that and I dopplered the neck of the pseudo aneurysm just to show that there is abnormal waveforms and to show that it's elevated as well. So you can see here at the pseudoaneurysm, it's really high, really elevated. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the pseudoaneurysm as best as I could with the connection to the CFA. So this is a live cine of it. You can see with the pulsating artery that the blood is flowing into the pseudoaneurysm. So I measured the pseudoaneurysm and I took a picture of it in SAG. So this is the common femoral artery here connecting to the pseudoaneurysm. And it's really hard because the patient is in a lot of pain. She's super swollen. And it's really hard to see, but you can see here that it's elevated. The velocities are really high. And here's another live cine in Sag. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.